What up guys, it's Zach with Utah Bot and Gone. So today we are at the Riverdale Swap Meet. They made me park on the street because I have a trailer. I'm um, doing another YouTube video. You guys have to check that one out. I'm actually driving up to Smithfield to uh, pretty much dive into someone's death pile because it's so large and he's moving. Um, but I'm just going into the Riverdale Swap Meet. I've only been here one time before and it was later in the afternoon so we didn't find much. But I'll bring you with me and uh, I'll let you know if we find anything cool. What up guys? So I'm sorry I didn't bring you with me when I was actually in the Swap Meet but let me show you what I did get. I was juggling my three kids in there so it was kind of hard to film stuff. So I decided I'm just going to film at the end and show you guys what I found. I spent a total of $33 on all this stuff and check out what I got. Okay, starting first, this is a DVD VHS combo unit. This is the recorder. I paid five bucks for this. She says it works, and I, if it does, I get around 60 to $80 for that one. Um, PS1, just the console by itself. I paid $3 for this, and I usually lot it up um, with some games, controllers, get around 100 to 150, depending how much uh, controllers and games I have. And then I paid a um, dollar for this game. It sells for right around 15 bucks. Um, I paid a buck for this game. It sells for right around $12. And then I only bought this because um, I actually love that game. So driver three, I paid a dollar for that. And then I paid $3 for this and this sells for around 15 bucks. Picked up a uh, Nintendo 64 AV cable and uh, paid a dollar for that. This was a big find, this Pokemon board game. So I paid five bucks for this and they did say it was 100% complete um, with these board games. I mean, you guys, people walk just walk past these all the time. Always check out your board games. Um, this one right here is so unique that I could get around $80 for used. So um, if you guys find these unique board games, check them out. It takes two seconds to scan it in your eBay app and find out what the profit is. Also found some Oakley goggles. So this one came in its own soft case and um, I paid $2 for this and it comes with an extra lens. I should get around 30 bucks, maybe 40 bucks, nothing crazy. Um, two tape recorders, if they work, I get around 30 bucks, maybe 40 bucks. I paid a dollar a piece and uh, this one is actually missing the back, but not a big deal if it works. Um, and then these are pretty cool. So these are AO 12 karat gold eyeglasses, probably from like the 50s, maybe even 40s. Um, so American Optical, is a brand you should be looking out for. So with these glasses right here, I paid five bucks. I should easily probably profit around a hundred dollars on them. Um, someone will pick them up because they're they're actually very unique to find. And then I picked up four books for Amazon FBA. Paid a dollar a piece. It's probably about twenty five dollars in profit right there. Um, but as far as Amazon FBA, that's what I'm talking about, you guys. I, whenever I'm thrifting. Um, I just scan books when I see them. So there was a, a bookshelf, just probably like 150 books, and I scanned for like 10 minutes, and I found $25 worth of profit. So that's why I love Amazon FBA. I don't do it full time, and I just do it just when I'm out thrifting. It takes two seconds to scan books. Um, you guys want to know more about that? I have another YouTube video that's already posted from start to finish regarding Amazon FBA book shipments. So check that out. But other than that, you guys, I appreciate you watching, and uh, do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.